These have been tough times for the mining industry. Profits and returns for investors have been falling, putting miners under pressure to reduce costs and raise productivity. That's leading many miners to focus more on a tool that has arguably been underused in mining until now, technology. This villa behind me used to be used by high-ranking officials in the Bulgarian Communist Party. It's now owned by Dundee Precious Metals, which owns the Celopec gold mine here in Bulgaria. The environment doesn't look very cutting edge, but actually Dundee Precious Metals is a very good example of the way mining companies are becoming much more innovative in their use of technology. Dundee is a relatively small gold miner, but has attracted attention for the extent to which it is using Wi-Fi technology at its mine at Celopec, which is owned since 2003. Here, Dundee has installed about 45 kilometers of fiber optics underground to enable full Wi-Fi connectivity. Nikolai Hristov, the general manager at Celopec, explains that technology quickly became a big part of Dundee's plans to make the mine more efficient. At Dundee, they like to say this is like taking the lid off the mine to give a full view of what's going on. It's sort of a next generation of underground mining uh, where uh, having the availability of the Wi-Fi connectivity uh, enabled us to uh, provide visibility underground of uh, uh, machines, uh, people. Uh, it enabled us to uh, go to the next level of, uh, uh, of, of planning and scheduling of activities uh, uh, that needs to happen in a mine and also uh, next level of uh, uh, monitoring on the progress of those tasks. Mr. Hristov says underground mining used to be like working in a black hole with only very limited sight of what was happening at any point in time. What the technology enables us now is to have this visibility almost in real time to uh, monitor what's going on in, in almost every single point in the mine and uh, this increases efficiency uh, uh, quite dramatically actually and uh, reduces uh, losses of uh, resources, losses of uh, uh, work time, losses of uh, uh, materials as well. At Celopec, underground miners use rugged tablet computer screens to relay tasks and up-to-date information. An above-ground control room oversees what's going on below the surface, and even blasting is carried out via Wi-Fi. Mark Gelsemini is Dundee's chief technology officer and a relative newcomer to the mining industry. We actually had to go and talk to the manufacturers, do joint ventures and say, okay, we want your technology, but we're going to have to manipulate it, change it, modify it to fit the mining sector. Mr. Gelsemini says miners at Celopec have also had to learn to embrace the technology on offer. When we started the project, we had to really educate the miners to explain to them what we were actually trying to achieve. And then after having a, a series of conversations and showing the technology and having them play with it and actually bringing development from them, uh, they started slowly to start accept it to now it's part of their operations every day in, day out. Dundee's not alone in trying to find ways technology can make mining more efficient. Some of the world's biggest miners, such as Rio Tinto and BHP Billiton, are finding ways to extract vast volumes of data from their day-to-day -day operations of blasting and processing rock. Technology lets a lot of that happen in real time, taking a lot of the previous guesswork out of mining. Many in the mining industry say it still needs to be much quicker at adopting the latest technology. It may be that miners such as Dundee are pointing the way for mining to become safer, more efficient and more profitable. James Wilson, Financial Times, Celopec, Bulgaria.